I'm standing in front of one of Luminor Environmental's Black Home 6.0 UV disinfection systems. Today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to remove the quartz sleeve and clean the quartz sleeve. The first thing you want to do before working on any UV system is make sure you disconnect the power from the UV system. Next I want to shut off the inlet water supply and the outlet water supply. Take a Phillips screwdriver, remove the ground screw from the ground lug. Press the Lumilock connector, turn it a quarter turn, remove the UV lamp from the system, disconnect the lamp so that it's out of your way. Take the gland nut, turn it a quarter turn, remove it from the system. Because it's a domed reactor, you don't have to drain the water from the system. Carefully grab the port sleeve, remove it from the system. If it's stained, take a cloth that's soaked with a mild acidic solution such as CLR or Lime Away. Carefully wipe down the exterior of the sleeve. Grab a separate dry cloth. Make sure the sleeve is wiped clean. Inspect the O-ring. If it's well lubricated, you can simply reinstall the O-ring. If it's old, install a new O-ring. If it's dry, you want to lubricate it with a silicone release. Fix the O-ring back on to the quart sleeve. You notice I'm wearing gloves. That's simply to prevent the acids that possibly could come off my hands from getting onto the quart sleeve, which could cause a problem. Take the quart sleeve, carefully insert it back into the UV reactor. The quart sleeve will seat itself in the bottom of the reactor. The O-ring sits in the groove. Take the gland nut, fix it back, turn it clockwise. It's a positive seal gland nut, so that means that once it reaches its bottom stop, it's fully sealed. It's not a compression seal like in some of the other competitive type systems. Take the UV lamp, fix it back into the connector. Carefully insert it back into the sleeve, depress the connector, quarter turn, reaffix the ground screw to the ground lug, slowly turn on the inlet valve, slowly turn on the exit valve. Check for leaks. If you're sure there's no leaks in the system, plug the system back in, and the system is powering up and back in service. It's as simple as that. Thank you.